Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Lissoui. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to import a character and animations from Mixamo. And I'm also going to show you how to create character movement. In a separate video, part two, I'm going to show you how to animate that movement that we're going to create here today. So let's go do that. First, you want to go to Mixamo. And inside here, you're going to find a lot of characters. So I'm going to look for one I already know, uh, Brady. And if we select Brady over here, um, we're going to get this T-Pose and that's what we want. We want to download it like this. So if we click download, uh, let's find that FBX and T-Pose. So we're going to click download. Then for the character animations, what you want to do is you want a walking cycle. So let's type in walk and find something that you like. Um, something simple, maybe for example, uh, walking, there we go. That's one. And every time you are downloading a animation, make sure that you click in place for that animation. So usually it's a walk or a run that's going to have this. Jumping doesn't have that. But that's what you want so we're going to download this and download it in 60 frames uh without a skin so i already have this so i'm not going to do that but uh do this for the walk do this uh for the run uh where is a run there you go that's a nice run so exactly the same in place uh, download 60 frames without skin because it'll save you space and then we want an idle animation as well so when we're doing nothing and for here you don't need to select in place because he's already not moving but it's the same download 60 uh, without skin now for a jump animation um normally get a full jump animation and i'm going to show you how to cut that into little pieces and make a good looking jump out of that so uh, something like this would be fine i already have one i can't remember which one i do but it's similar to this so um 60 again 60 frames and without skin so once you're back in unreal engine you want to import these so whenever you're importing make sure you import the character first and afterwards you import the animations because it can get a little buggy so for example here i called it goatman.fbx so we're going to import him and we're going to get these options here uh, reset to default you don't want to do anything with this and import all once it has downloaded uh, we want to save everything so Control and s and then we want to create a new file and call this character and inside of here we want to make a new folder called texture the textures and just grab everything and bring it in there now once inside here we're going to grab just the textures and put these guys in here so it looks a bit cleaner organizing uh, your project. Inside of here, we're going to create a character blueprint. So get character, and we're going to call this BP underscore um, whatever name you want. But for me, it's going to be character. And once that is done, I also remembered we need a character or we need a game mode. So go to blueprint class again and search over here for game mode there we go so for this what i'm going to do is call it bp underscore uh, character game mode so in here you don't have to do anything but uh, i'm going to show you how to set it up later and we're going to go into a outside of here and we're going to create few a new folder actually and it's going to be called input. 
So inside of input, you want to create uh, three input actions. So go to input, input action, and we want one for jump. Save that. And we want another one for input action look. Um, and we want another one for our movement. So save those. And if you go inside look, you just want to change this to access 2D. Save that. And you also want to do the same thing for move. You don't need to do that for jump. And we save. And then uh, I will create a new folder called actions. Uh, it's just to put these guys over here so it looks a bit cleaner. Move that there and inside of here I'm going to create another input but this time it's going to be a input mapping context so I'll just call it IMC for short and save that so inside of here we're going to uh, create our movement so we're going to create a new one and let's do jump because it's the easiest one so if you press here and whatever key you, you want on the keyboard it's going to correspond to that movement so i'm going to press space for that one then for uh, we're going to create more of them we want look and for look you go into here uh, find the mouse and select x y 2d axis so now um go into the modifiers over here and create a new one and select negate and inside of the negate, we're going to only take the Y. And you're going to see why after, uh, in a little bit. So that's done. And the last one is move. So for move, we want four of these for four keys. So we want forward. We want left. We want back. And we want right. So for forward... Uh, create a modifier and it's going to be a swizzle input axis you can close that now then for a we're going to create a negate we don't have to touch that close it for s we're going to create two we're going to have a swizzle and a negate so um that's all good for d you don't have to do anything and we can exit out of this so once that is set up we're going to go back into our character and uh, I actually forgot to show you how to download the character animations. So we're going to do a new folder and call it animations. So inside of animations, we're going to go inside here and we want to import our animations. So find the animations you want to download. So for me, it would be walking, running, idle and jump. And then when you drag in, you want to reset the default and in the skeleton, you want to select the goat or goatman for me, but whatever um, you have downloaded. So for me, it's going to be goatman and import all. Once it has all imported, you just want to save. And the only thing you need to do now is for your jump, you want to uh, duplicate this and you want to duplicate this again. So the reason for this is we're going to have a jump up so the first initial thing so we're going so that's the first action you're doing then we're going to have a jump down or sorry jump idle so that's while you are falling and then we're going to have a jump down so that's all set up nicely for us and I'm going to go back into character, pp underscore character. So inside of here, we're going to click on our mesh. And inside our mesh, we're going to add a skeleton. So got one for me. Uh, here for this actual mesh, uh, minus 85 is okay. So he'll be touching the ground. And for rotation, minus 90. That's fine. We also, when we uh, click here, want to look for Orient and select this to true. 
we're going to look for pawn. I use controller rotation yaw to false. Then the same thing goes for okay, we didn't create this. We want to create a, a spring arm. And inside the spring arm, we want to create a camera. Like that. So select our spring arm, bring this a little bit up. And I had the pawn thing here. So for our spring arm, we want to select true. And for camera, it should be already false. But if it is not, uh, select false. So we can compile, save, and then let's go to our event graph. So inside our event graph, we're going to delete these guys because we're not going to use them. And from event begin play, we're going to cast to player controller. So we have this, and then we're going to get controller. From here, we're going to get our enhanced, uh, get enhanced input local player subsystem. So just type in enhanced and it should show up. Then from here, we're going to get is valid. So if it's true, we're going to do something and we're going to add a mapping context. So remember what we did earlier, earlier, and now we're going to select IMC. So that's what we had before. Compile that and that looks good to me. So comment this. Uh, layer movement. And I'm happy with that. So then for our input actions. So remember our under, uh, IA underscore jump. IA underscore look and IA underscore move. So we want to get these guys and for jump, we're going to do triggered and we want to look for the jump action. And then for completed, we're going to do jump again, but stop jumping. So that's all it is. You can comment that jump. By the way, to comment your code, uh, just press C uh, like this. And it should come up. And then for our look, for our camera, we're going to do triggered and we're going to get the yaw, add controller yaw input. And afterwards, we're going to get the pitch. So add controller pitch input. And we're going to split, split the action value. X goes to here and Y goes to here. And that's all it is. We're going to call this look or camera. Mm. And then for our movement, uh, we want for triggered. I'm going to add movement input. Right. And we want to do this again. Uh, and like that. So in our first one, we're going to create a right vector. Get right vector, and then here we're going to do get our control rotation. Yeah, there we go. Get control rotation. Uh, we're going to split this. We're going to split this and split this. So Z goes to Z and X goes to Z. You don't have to do the Y. So I'm going to bring this up to make it a little bit cleaner like so and connect this into here and then x goes into here and double click on the line to make it pretty and for the second one we do also want to get a control rotation and then we want to get forward vector and we want to split these guys so Z goes to Z and that's about it. Put it up here. And Y goes into here and again, double click to make it look pretty. And that's our code uh, for this part done. And don't forget to connect this here. So if we comment that movement and bring it up, compile and save. Then for 
in our world over here world settings if you don't have the world settings just uh click here and click world settings um inside the world settings we're going to select our game mode that we made so that would be bp underscore character game mode then inside of our game mode we're going to do default pawn class and select our character so now if we save and hit play uh, our character should be moving forward backwards left and right so that's all done of course the animation is not there but i'm going to do that with you in part two 